what's happening youtube what's happening boxing and about that boxing man today i'm gonna give y'all something a little different i told y'all in some previous videos if you've watched it i'll be arguing with myself in my head because i'm such a boxing fan and when there's boxers that are on a certain level and they are facing each other um it's hard for me to pick between two sometimes because i'm just such great fans of both of these fighters i'm talking about alexander Usyk and tyson fury all right the bout is coming up so what i'm gonna do is present why alexander Usyk wins from an alexander Usyk fans point of view which i am and then in the next video i'm gonna turn around and do the same thing from tyson fury's fans point of view and i will discuss why tyson fury wins this fight let's get into it this is all about Alexander Usyk and why I feel that he beats Tyson Fury all right first of all let's just go back and learn a little bit about Alexander Usyk first of all we know he's from the Ukraine we know that he's the current WBA IBF and WBO heavyweight world champion and let me not forget the IBO this man holds a lot of hardware we know he's an Olympic gold medalist I believe he won back in 2012 he has done it he has done it what a look of relief on the face of Alexander Usyk the world champion the number one seed he's also the former cruiserweight undisputed champion But what am I really talking about? Well, what I'm really talking about is a guy that climbed up through the ranks the good old fashioned way. This guy has 335 rounds in the amateurs. He had 109 bouts in the amateurs. He lost 15 of those. He only had one KO which I believe would be like 20%, something like close to 20%. So he didn't have no knockout power, okay? But you come up to the pros, he's now uh, at 14 knockouts with 21 wins, zero losses, zero draws. He's sitting at a 66 or 67% knockout percentage now. All right. Out of the two boxers, he is the oldest, but he doesn't show age like most. What I gotta say is this guy is from the Ukraine and we also know another dancing ass fighter from the UK that I'm not a fan of because I felt he was rushed and boxing should be ashamed for it. They shouldn't have rushed him. I would have probably became a fan once he proved himself to me. And I'm talking about Vasil Lomachenko. But love him or hate him, you got to admit that this guy is elusive. He can box his ass off. He just didn't have power. But he could dance his ass off. He, was, he knew how to move in the ring. He knew how to outbox somebody. He knew how to adjust to different fighters. That's what made him special. Alexander Usyk possesses the same ability. But imagine this, dominating the cruiserweights, coming up the good old fashioned hard way, going through multiple champions and going right after as fast as he can, trying to chase the next champion, defending his belts honorably against real opponents, top tier opponents, not trash opponents, maintaining the belts and only leaving them to seek greatness at the heavyweight level. He comes in defeats Anthony Joshua not once but twice this is the top guy pretty much holding the most weight at the time see Tyson Fury was holding that weight and then he had you know his his personal situations and everything you know the things that happen to Tyson Fury you go look it up yourself I'm not gonna go in depth on that on this video on his video maybe I'll get into some of that but he had things happen 
where the titles were redispersed and uh, Anthony Joshua ended up holding the majority of these titles. Then he defends against Daniel Dubois, who's not no punk. The Derek Chisora, that's another fight. This guy has the ability to get around. And the reason why I'm bringing up his record and I'm bringing up these particular fighters, Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk is so elusive that I'm not sure if Tyson Fury's jab will be enough. I'm not sure. I mean, what Tyson Fury is even going to show up to the match? So in my mind, I believe Alexander Usyk, I've watched him do it. He's gone through and penetrated so many people's jabs and defenses. I see him taking it to the body of the younger, not far younger, but younger Tyson Fury. I see him taking it to the body of Tyson Fury and breaking him down some, taking away some of that power because we know Alexander Usyk don't have that power. I know my guy don't have that power. He might flash knock down Tyson Fury. He has a cumulative power. He definitely has that. It's not like he's not scoring any knockouts, but he just is not a knockout puncher per se. He does have 14 out of his 21, but you got to remember KOs and TKOs are different. All right. He does possess KOs, but the majority are TKOs. So this is what I'm wanting for Alexander Usyk. And these are his keys to victory in my mind is that he uses that fancy footwork that he is so known for, that evasiveness, that speed to confuse Tyson Fury and get on the inside, get around the haymakers, get around Fury's really good jab and extremely long jab. I just don't think Tyson Fury has what he what it takes in him to keep chasing after or trying to hit a guy this fast and elusive. I just think that Usyk has the uh, athletic advantage to Tyson Fury. I believe he'll be a little too elusive for Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury may even punch himself out chasing after Alexander Usyk. And if Fury gets tired, best believe it's all Usyk. He can't get tired. He has to maintain the whole entire 12 rounds. All of them. I believe Usyk is just in too great a shape. He's at his super peak prime. He's had way more tests on a higher level. He's had all those amateur rounds which have prepared him mentally for so many styles and types of fighters. I just believe that Usyk has the ability to beat Tyson Fury by outscoring him and evading Tyson Fury's barrage of uh, jabs and uh, haymakers from all angles. Um, I don't believe that the jerkiness and weird style of Tyson Fury will have as much of an effect on Usyk as Usyk's elusiveness will have on Tyson Fury. So I say Usyk. I say he wins by a split decision. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know if uh, y'all believe that this is a, a fair analogy of the bout. If y'all think I'm selling Tyson Fury short, which I will avenge in the next video. The next video will be Tyson Fury, but this is Alexander Usyk. I just believe that is his, his lifestyle and just everything about this guy is definitely good for boxing. I believe the energy that he brings is good for boxing. How he handled himself in the press conference, all of this are confidence boosters in my mind to say that this guy knows like, look, this dude is big, but I fought big guys before. I'm sparring against a big guy right now, a 6'8 guy to prepare for you right now. Not that this guy is a Tyson Fury, because if he was, then he would be fighting Tyson Fury. But just to say that he's putting in rounds that make sense. He's putting in rounds against a guy who has an extremely long jab and the size. 
like a Tyson Fury. So I'm saying Alexander Usyk, unanimous decision, mm, probably not. I say he wins by a split decision. They gotta make it dramatic. He wins by split decision. They're not gonna rob Tyson Fury of his one belt and all that he's accomplished in the short period of time that he's been fighting in professional fighting. If you really think about it, yes, 10 years, but just what he accomplished from having such a short career and everything, they are not gonna just give Usyk this on a platter. They're gonna probably make it a split decision, try to see if they could set up uh, a rematch. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Does Usyk pull this off? Is he just too slick, too cunning, too fast, and too energetic for Tyson Fury? Y'all let me know. Amp about that boxing. Like, subscribe, share the videos. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Keep it coming, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm out of here. And be sure to tune back in when I do Why Tyson Fury Wins from the Tyson Fury fans perspective. I'll check y'all out.